Hey, what's up guys? I'm checking out MeanPop 2.0. Now this thing is pretty sick actually, and it is based on a 5.1 Android experience. And it is in fact running Android 5.1. Now one thing I do want to make very clear is it is not going to have any features, functions, or customization throughout the settings menu. So don't expect anything crazy in that regard. Everything is going to be baked in with this ROM. I've been using it for roughly about three and a half or four hours, and I got the general overall feel of it. And it's pretty great. You're either going to love this ROM or you're going to hate it for what it is. And it is what it is. And it's actually pretty nice. You're going to notice right away that it does in fact have LED notifications. And the best part about that is it blinks. And I've been looking for a ROM that actually has this functionality or this feature for a while. And the fact that it is running 5.1, hey, thumbs up already. And as Flossie Carter would say, uh, this is a win right here. But let's go ahead and just check out the features. Uh, one of the things you are going to notice is it does in fact have a battery indicator or percentage value built in. So that's pretty awesome. You're not going to find that with a stock experience. Another thing that's cool about that battery is if you charge your device, it will place your battery into a charging state, which is going to be green. So it will go from right, white to green and you won't have any LED notifications or LED solid states bugging you uh, while you're sleeping or if you're in a dark room or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. With this particular ROM, you do not get anything in the advanced reboot menu here. So no soft reboots, recoveries, or anything like that. But the developer did include an application called QuickBoot. And with this, you can go and get into your reboot, your recovery bootloader, and power off the device through that application. But do be aware, it does have ads in it. So if you don't have AdAway or an ad blocker, you're going to get a bunch of crap in there. So make sure you install AdAway or ad blocker if you don't have that. It's uh, definitely a nice application to have. You are going to notice in the navigation bar, there are some things baked in with this particular ROM. You are going to have a screen off function with a long press on the back key here. So if you hold that down, it will turn your display off. So if you have a double, cap, uh, double tap kernel or a double tap utility, you can use those in conjunction with each other. So that's a nice little feature to have. You also have on the uh, home button here, the ability to take screenshots if you double tap real quickly. So if you double tap, it'll take a screenshot for you. And that's, that's pretty awesome. I did notice, however, because of that screenshot function or utility, it might have slowed down or placed a little lag on the home button. So I'll show you that real quickly. So if I go into the app drawer here and then hit the home, you're going to see that lag. It's a little more apparent if you have it on the device and you can see it, you know, for yourself. But you can see there, I'll show you a better way to show you would be with the back button. So you see how quick that is and responsive. I mean, it's just rapid. But if you go back to the home, it's just lagged for some reason on this particular ROM. Don't know if it's a bug or intended, but just be aware of that. I want to let you guys know about that, maybe even the, the uh, developer if he's going to watch this. So some really cool things with the LED blinking notifications is you can change it from blinking to a solid state if you don't want it to blink. You can also change the defaulted auto to a solid state or a blink if you don't want to use the automated function. The automated default function will basically put it in a blinking state until you get a select amount of notifications that are the same color in blinking mode, and then it will actually place them in a solid state. I know that's a lot of information to take in at once, but I'll go ahead and explain it simpler. And I think most of you are going to want a blinking state anyway. So go ahead and navigate your way into a file explorer. And from this file explorer, you're going to go into your system directory. Within the system directory, you're going to go into your data folder. So you're going to go to system, data, and then in data, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you locate the meanpop.opt. It's going to be all the way at the bottom. And then you're going to open this file and then you're going to see all the information inside. Now you're just going to pay attention to the lower half, the top part's not important, and you're going to see in the centralized area or the center all of the information provided, which will basically give you the number priorities, which means that the lower the number is, the higher the importance or priority is. Uh, one will basically lock a color value. You're gonna see all your colors, your LED blue, yellow, magenta, cyan, red, green, all that. So that's going to give you all your color values and you can obviously place which ones you want prioritized in those number systems. And then you will also have the LED blink, which you can place in auto, false, or true. False is going to basically make the LED stay in a solid state and true will always keep it in a blinking state. Now I recommend you use true, but you can obviously choose whatever you want. Now you're also going to see that you can change the LED on and off based on millisecond values. So you can change those as well. So real quickly, I'm going to go ahead and edit mine. And I'm going to turn it off of auto. And I'm just going to put true because I always want it to be on blinking state. 
Uh, default values are LED on for a second and off for half a second, and I don't like it blinking that rapidly. I prefer a little bit longer on the blink process or the on and off state. So I set it to two and a half seconds, and I'm going to do this one for a second and a half. I like these values. I've already played with them, and I chose these because I like them. So you guys can go in there and play with it until you find something you like, or you can use the values I have. And I'm going to go ahead and reboot and show you the difference in the blinking. All right, so it has been rebooted, and you can, in fact, see that the changes have been made to the LED blinking status. So this is roughly two and a half seconds of LED on and one and a half seconds off. And I think that's the sweet spot, at least for me and my personal preferences. You guys can go in there and change the values to anything you want. But that pretty much sums up this ROM, Mean Pop 2.0, running Android 5.1. As I mentioned, it is a stock experience, and it's pretty solid on what it offers. You're either going to like it for what it is, or you're not. And um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. Punch that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.